Well, back home, border officials say December 2023 is on pace to break uh, the record for the most migrant encounters ever in a single month. Approximately 300,000 recorded to be crossing our southern border. Now, this New Year's Eve weekend, no different. Overnight, a Boeing 777 from Texas landed near Chicago with around 350 migrants on board. And now Chicago's mayor says the sheer number of asylum seekers being bussed and flown in is unsustainable calling it a federal crisis. News Nation correspondent Jorge Ventura live in San Antonio with the very latest on this. Jorge. Natasha, that migrant flight carrying over 300 migrants and landing in Illinois overnight coming from here in San Antonio. And those migrants now are making their way to the city of Chicago. This has prompted Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson to blast Texas Governor Greg Abbott. The governor of Texas, Governor Abbott, um, is determined to continue to sow seeds of chaos. And now he's taken on um, this very dangerous task of placing individuals on airplanes and flying them into our various cities. A plane carrying 350 migrants from Texas landed in Rockford, Illinois, just an hour west of Chicago in the early morning hours of New Year's Eve. The migrants had boarded eight buses chartered by Texas Governor Greg Abbott and bound for various Chicago suburbs. They're expected to make their way to the city, which has already received more than 30,000 asylum seekers since August of 2022. The city is building what they're calling winterized tent camps to house the incoming migrants. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson calling the situation an international and federal crisis and hammering Texas Governor Abbott for what he calls illegal action. Putting people on airplanes mm -hmm. and dropping them off in the city of Chicago and Denver and New York without any coordination, without a manifest. I don't know how many federal laws or aviation laws he could be violating. What we have is clearly, uh, clearly an international and federal crisis that local governments are being asked to subsidize, and this is unsustainable. Johnson's complaint oddly echoing that of Governor Abbott, who has framed his policies as an effort to protect his state amid lax policies from the Biden administration. The authors of the United States Constitution foresaw a situation when the federal government would be inattentive to states that faced challenges at their borders. And in response, they inserted Article 1, Section 10 to the United States Constitution to empower states to take action to defend themselves. And that is exactly what Texas is doing. The feud happening as migrant encounters surge at the southern border, CBP confirming this week that they've surpassed 250,000 encounters just this month, putting December 2023 on pace to break the all-time record and possibly reaching 300,000 encounters. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham placing the blame squarely on President Biden. This is not irregular migration. That's a bunch of BS. This is a predictable outcome of bad policy choices made right after Biden became president. And as we are set to begin the new year, the border crisis still remains a top issue for the GOP. Later this week, 60 GOP lawmakers are set to visit the southern border. Speaker Mike Johnson will be in Eagle Pass, Natasha. All right, Jorge Ventura live for us in San Antonio tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.